and welcome to Hey There Wellness. My name is Tamsin. I am a certified personal trainer and yoga instructor. And today I have a short full body stretch for you that is going to help you both with your flexibility and your, and your mobility. So it's really important at any stage of our life to really be stretching our muscles, working on our joints. It's important so that we are able to move comfortably into our older adult life. These stretches are all going to be down on the floor. I do recommend that if you're concerned about sitting cross-legged or having pressure on the knees that you have a folded up towel or blanket that you can sit on for the seated portion and that you can put under your knees for the portion where we're on our hands and knees. The other alternative is to do this beginning section where we're sitting cross-legged on a chair if that's more comfortable for you. All right. So let us get started. The only thing you're going to need is your mat or the chair if you need that. So let's start sitting up nice and tall. You want to relax your shoulders down away from the ears. And from here, you want to drop the chin down towards the chest. Start to very gently move the head side to side, chin to the shoulder. It's really focusing on keeping these movements nice and controlled. The neck is an area of the body where we do tend to hold a lot of tension, so be very mindful with your movements and make sure you're not creating any pain or discomfort. So we only want to move to a point where you feel a gentle stretch. Keeping the chin down, bring the head back to center. On your next inhale, lift the head, take the chin up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the head forward, chin comes back down to the chest. So we're gently nodding the head forward and back. And again, we're making sure to move with control. So you're not letting that head fall back. Then bring the head back up to center. And let's start to turn side to side. So this time looking over the top of the shoulder. So you're exhaling as you turn and inhaling as you move through the center. This one is a little bit of a deeper stretch. Again, be mindful. You don't want to turn too far and overextend. Only enough that you're feeling a gentle stretch. And bring the head back to center. Great, from here, extend the arms straight out in front of you, level with the shoulders, and start to flick the fingers in and out. So we'll start just moving really nice and slow, stretching the fingers out and then squeezing them all the way back in. And let's see, can we move just a little bit faster? You might feel the forearms start to burn a little bit, really waking up all those muscles. And let's go just a little bit faster, really flicking those fingers out. And bring the fingers back to stillness. From here, close the fingers again to make soft fist. And very gently start to circle the wrists around. So we're trying to get a full range of motion here. It's really important that we do work on our joints, we keep them strong and healthy. And let's change direction. We want to circle the other way. Last one. And release. On your next inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Reach up high, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, you're taking your right hand down to the mat. And your left hand is reaching overhead. So depending on your flexibility, you'll either be up on the hand or you can bring the forearm down. But we want to keep these sitting bones rooted to the mat. So you want to make sure you're not lifting those hips up. And you're really reaching across, creating a nice stretch up through the side of the body. On your next inhale, lift through the center and exhale over to the other side. So again, either on the hand or the fingertips or if you have that flexibility to come down onto the forearm and reach over. We're still staying rooted down through those sitting bones, so hips aren't lifting up.
Inhale, lift up to center, lengthen through the spine, reach your arms up nice and high. And on your next exhale, start to twist to the right. Your left hand comes to the outside of the knee and right hand comes onto the mat behind you. You're gently pushing on that thigh to help you twist to the spine. And as far as you comfortably can, you're turning the head to look towards that back shoulder. And start to work here with your breath. So as you inhale, you're lengthening through the spine. And as you exhale, you're gently deepening that twist. On your next inhale, turn forward, reach your arms back overhead. And then exhale, twist to the left. So right hand to the outside of the knee, left fingertips to the mat behind you. Gently turning the head to look towards that back shoulder. Inhaling as you lengthen through the spine. Exhaling as you gently deepen that twist. very slowly turn yourself back to center and from here let's move over onto our hands and knees so again you could place a folded up blanket or cushion under the knees if you need a little bit of extra support you want to make sure that your shoulders elbows and wrists in line and that your hips and knees are nice in line we're working a little bit more through the spine and moving through a cat cow so as you exhale you're going to round through the upper back tuck the chin towards the chest gaze to the navel and as you inhale, the belly will sink down. You'll gently lift through the chest and gaze up to the ceiling. So really focusing here on rounding and arching through the spine. The movements you control, you're flowing with the breath. It's really good for stretching into the spine as well as improving the mobility of our spine. Let's do one more. And then bring yourself back into a neutral position. From here, coming into an extended puppy, your hips and knees are going to stay nice in line. Your hands are walking out in front of you, so that chest gently starts to lower down towards the floor. If you're able to, you can gently rest the forehead onto the mat. Or again, you could place a cushion underneath the forehead for a little bit of extra support. And here you should feel a really nice opening into the shoulders, the chest, and the top of the back. Again, areas where we really do tend to hold a lot of tension. Moving into Sphinx Pose, lower your forearms now onto the mat. And then start to push the body all the way forward so that you lower the hips down. Pushing through the forearms, start to lift up through the chest. You're relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. And you should feel a nice stretch here into the lower back. But be mindful of how it feels. So we only want to feel a stretch if it's feeling like a sharp pain or it's really uncomfortable. Lower that chest a little bit, so you're only going to lift up to a point that is comfortable for you. The lower back is an area that many people tend to struggle with, have a lot of pain, so really be kind to your body. Only do what you're able to do. It's important here to also make sure that your shoulders and your elbows stay nicely in line. slowly start to lower the chest all the way down stack your hands rest your forehead onto the back of the hands and from here take your right knee out to the side so we're bending it to 90 degrees so your hip and your knee should be nice in line and your foot is flexed so the toe is pointing towards the side of the room and we're just going to hold here nice steady breaths in and out you should feel a release into the lower back and the hips And 
and slowly start to extend that leg straight back out. And let's do the same on the left. So you take your knee out to 90 degrees, your hip and your knee are nice in line, and your foot is flexed. Again, resting that forehead on the back of the hands. Just hold here. Nice steady breaths in and out. Stretch that left leg back out. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and then start to push the hips all the way back towards the heels. Your knees will be out as wide as a mat, your big toes together. And you're seeing how far you can get those hips back, reaching your arms long out in front. So don't stress if you're somewhere here. You could pop a cushion between the thigh and the calf if that's going to give you a little bit of extra support. And you could also pop a cushion underneath the forehead if you're battling to get the head down. So a really good stretch for the lower back if you find you tend to suffer lower back pain. Then let's push forward again onto our hands and knees, coming into your tabletop position. From here, you're going to take your right leg and bring it a nice big step forward. So you want to make sure your ankle and knee are nice in line. And then you're pushing your hips forward towards the floor and seeing if you can bring the hands up onto the top of the thigh. And that's going to feel like a really nice stretch here into the hip flexor. So I don't mind if you feel you need to keep your hands on the mat just to give you a little bit of extra support. And really focus on sinking those hips down towards the floor, really opening up into those hips. Again, it might feel really tight, but as you do these stretches, the body will start to loosen. And the more you do these stretches, the more regularly you do them, the better your results will get and these stretches won't feel as bad. From here we're going to bring those fingertips down again and coming into a half split you want to push the hips back so that you can straighten the front leg and lift the toes. You can slide that heel a little bit more forward if you need to and I don't mind how low you are. You can be up on the fingertips, you can lower the chest, you work at your level. And you should feel a really nice stretch here through the back of the leg. Very slowly start to push forward. And let's take that knee back. And we'll swap over and do the same on the other side. So nice big step forward with the left foot. You're gently pushing the hips forward, making sure the ankle and the knee are in line. And then when you're ready, you're going to lift up, see if you can bring the hands onto the top of the thigh. Again, really work on pushing those hips forward, feeling that nice stretch here into the hip flexor. Let's lower the fingertips back down onto the mat. Push the hips back straight in the front leg, lift the toes, sliding that heel forward if you need to. And again, coming into the position that works for you. If you're able to, you can see if you can lower that chest towards the shin to deepen the stretch. Gently push that foot forward and then take the knee back. 
And let's swing the legs right round now in front of you, so extending them out. Your toes are gently pulling back towards you. Inhale as you reach the arms up. And as you exhale from the hips, you want to fold the body forward, taking the chest towards the shins. So I rather you're way up here with a flat back and you're rounding your back to try and get yourself lower into the stretch. We really want the fold to come from the hips. And don't worry about being low. As long as you're feeling that nice stretch through the hamstrings, your flexibility will come with time and practice. Very slowly start to bring yourself all the way back up and bending the knees make your way onto your back. You want your hips and knees to be in line and from here you're going to extend your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Grab behind the back of the leg and then gently pull it back towards you. From here let's start to point the toes and pull them back towards you. So you want to point and flex. And that's going to really help get into the back of the leg and the calf, as well as work on your ankle joints. Bring that foot back to a neutral position, and then moving into a figure of four, bring the ankle to the left knee. So you're making that fourth shape with the legs. Grab behind the left hamstring and pull both legs back towards the chest. So that's going to open up now into the glutes. Bring both feet back down onto the mat. And let's swap over. Let's take the left leg up, grab behind the hamstring, pull the leg back towards you, and then start to point and flex the toes. Bring the foot to a neutral position. Figure of four, take the ankle to the right knee, grab behind the right hamstring, pull both legs back towards the chest. And Jane, to release the feet back down. Stretch your left leg all the way out, pull your right knee in towards the chest. And when you have this knee pulled in, start to circle the ankle. Full range of motion through that joint. And really working a little bit here on our mobility. Let's change direction, circle the other way. Bring the foot back to a neutral position. Coming into a spinal twist, take your right hand out to the side into a T position. Your left hand is coming to the outside of that knee and you're gently pulling it across the body so that you're twisting through the spine. You want to keep your shoulder blades flat to the mat and your head is turning to look over the right shoulder. So I'm more concerned about you keeping your shoulder blades down than getting that knee to the floor. So I'd rather your knees a little bit higher if need be. Slowly lift up, stretch the right leg out. Pull the left knee in towards the chest, hug it tight, and start to gently circle the ankle. And 
circle the other way. Bring the foot to a neutral position. Your left hand comes out to the side into a T position. Right hand to the outside of the knee. Bring that knee across the body, twisting through the spine. Again, focus on keeping those shoulder blades flat to the mat and then turning the head to look over the top of the left shoulder. Then come back to center, hug both knees in, hands to the tops of the knees. Gently draw circles round, massaging the lower back into the mat. And change directions, circle the other way. Come back to center. Stretch your arms and legs away from you, lengthening all the way from the tips of the fingers down to the toes. Giving yourself one last big stretch. Really imagine being pulled from either end. And then bring the knees back in towards the chest. Gently roll onto your side, come into a fetal position. And then push yourself all the way up. Take a moment here to lengthen through the spine. And let's finish off with two nice big deep breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, release. One more nice big deep breath in. And exhale, release. Great, well done. I hope you're feeling good. I hope that some of the tension has left your body. If you enjoyed this workout, please subscribe to the page so that you can see more videos like this. And I hope you come back and do this video again and keep working on improving your flexibility. Until next time.